Right, we're exploring the lives and legacies of the victims of this week's mass shooting. Two News talked with family, friends and community members mourning the loss of these lives and remembering their impact. First tonight, Amanda Glenn, you know, her family says she was more than just a victim of Wednesday's shooting at St. Francis. Her two teenage sons say she's a woman who selflessly served others no matter the cost. Our Sharon Phillips reports. Amanda Glenn's sons describe her as a truly devoted wife and mother with a servant's heart. When she wasn't working as a medical assistant at St. Francis, her family says Amanda was pouring into her children's lives. She took pride in being a football and baseball mom and often worked the concession stand at her son's games. Twice a week she'd have to go to the Sam's Club to pick up these big orders and all the baseball boys, we'd help her carry stuff in, uh, stock the concession. Amanda's youngest son, Ian, remembers his mom tending to everyone else before her own needs. She would work the concession and make sure that everything was going smoothly and that the games were, you know, kept going and that everybody had what they needed. Cooking for others was one of her love languages, and he and his friends were often the recipient of that love. She loved to cook. She loved cooking. Gabe says he will never forget where he was when he got that fateful call. I was sitting on my bed. My buddy Gunner, he called me and said, uh, you, need to, you need to try and call your mom. There's a, there's a shooting. Frantic, he says he raced to Memorial High School where families were told to meet their loved ones. In the midst of the chaos, he says his father received several terrifying texts. She said, there's a, there's a shooting here. I'm so scared. So my dad told her to get underneath the desk. After hours of waiting, he was told the devastating news that his precious mother would not be coming home. As the community mourns the loss of four innocent lives, the Glenn family says they are so thankful for the love and support they have received during this difficult time. You know, the baseball team, the football team, they, they take care of us and make sure that we're doing all right. A GoFundMe has been set up to help this family out with funeral and other costs. And if you would like to donate, you can go to our website, kjrh.com, and click on the link to this story. Sharon Phillips, 2 News, Oklahoma.